What is up, guys and gals? It is time for the glorious revolution in tooth and tail. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and check out a strategy game where you are like, my. it's a weird game, all right? I don't exactly know the storyline. All I know is that it's like the Russian revolution of like mice and birds and this game gets cray cray. It's got an amazing amount of theme. The game is a lot of fun. I've had a little bit of time to spend with it as of right now. And I wanted to show you a couple episodes of gameplay. So I don't have anybody to play with right now. I'm setting up some collabs. Hopefully I'll have somebody to play with pretty shortly. But for the moment, we're going to play a couple of skirmishes. And I'm just going to show the game off a little bit. Uh, we're going to go three player because I found two player to be, I don't know, a tad easy. This might go poorly. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. We've got to select our commanders. So we can be Archimedes. We can be the Quartermaster who appears to be some kind of like Nazi mouse. We can be Hopper who obviously is going to be for the glorious revolution. And so I think I'll probably go with Hopper or this fancy looking bastard right here. He seems like the kind of individual that would very much enjoy a cup of tea and a quick snuff of cocaine with you. Uh, we'll go with Archimedes. Uh, no, I don't want Archimedes. Forget Archimedes. Archimedes is whack. I don't want Archimedes. Archimedes is lame. I want, yeah, that lady right there. She's the best. And then we're going to add a bot. We'll go with the Quartermaster. Medium difficulty, sure. We'll go with uh, Archimedes at medium difficulty. I don't know if it's going to be all of them versus me. Or if it's going to be like a free-for-all. I have no idea how this is going to pan out. But we'll find out very shortly. So I can pick my units now. You only get these six units that you pick at the beginning. And so there's a lot of synergy in between the units. I don't even know what all of them do right now. I've tried a couple of them. You have the glorious AFB, which is like a skunk unit with like gas bombs and all kinds of weird shit. Uh, you have the apparently some kind of fox unit over here. You've got the wing demons, which seem dope as shit. That right there is a bird with a machine gun attached to it, so I'm definitely going to take that. It looks like we've got squirrels with revolvers. Probably a cheap unit. Looks like we have the nomads of the north. It looks like we got suicide bomber frogs. What else do we have here? We have engineers. We have the trench gang. They apparently just hit dudes with cudgels. We also have tooth collectors. We have snakes. The freight union. Yeah, I'm going to go with the ferrets. That sounds pretty good. The weasels. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the farmhands, too. That sounds pretty good. And then we've got the drill sergeant. Don't know what he does, so we'd have to figure that out along the way. Inmate number 438, Uncle Butter. We've got a drum fire cannon, a thermal air sniper, a bullet hive, which is like a pillbox. I'm going to take that. We've got feather wire. I'm going to take that because I assume that's going to block the enemy's advance and make it difficult for them to, like, fuck with us as we go along. And let's take a fun unit in here. Let's go with some frog suit. You know what? I like the squirrels with revolvers. I like, for some reason, the idea of a bunch of gang squirrels running around my backyard just being West Side Blood and just like unloading on each other. For some reason, that entertains me. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go. All right. The common folk will rise. So we start out with our farms. Our farms generate food. We use food to buy defenses and also units. That's pretty much all you need to know about this game. So for right now, I'm going to hang tight and I'm going to scout while I wait for my food to come back in. Let's run around and get a feel for what our territory is looking like at the moment. So there's a fence right there. We are on the top right-hand border. Let's have a look. I love how she runs with the flag. All the pixel animation in this game is absolutely gorgeous. I'm super impressed by the production values in this game. It looks good. Oh, there's a green dude right there. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's doing a thing. What did he just do? I don't know what he just did. He did a thing. Either way, I'm going to have to defend this in just a minute. So we'll get that started. And we'll take a look down here. Even when you interact with water and stuff, it's just like the puddles and things. I wonder where me enemy's grist mill is. Yeah, the grist mill, I think we have to protect our mill. And if we don't protect our mill, bad shit happens. Fun factoid, the pigs that are like on our farms right there. What are you doing? Did he just dig a burrow? How did he do that? How do I not know how to do this thing? I can duck, it looks like. I can do like a little oompa dance. Alright. Well, my dance skills are better than all of the enemies of the revolution, so that's all that we need to worry about. I'm going to build a bunch of farms up in here because I get the feeling that's probably... Having good throughput of food is probably going to be... Look at my pigs. They have guns. My pigs have little gats. As far as I know, my characters are not able to fight. I don't think my character actually fights. I think my character just runs around with like a horde of goons behind her. And that's how it works here. I... I'm going to get started with pillboxes over here is what I really want. So if I could put a pillbox right here. Yeah, buddy. This is my turf. They're so adorable and cute, and yet they're murdering each other World War I style. Like, the, the cognitive dissonance of those two things working together where it's just like, what? They're adorable. Like, they say cute little things like, this is my pile and stuff like that. And then they shoot each other with grease guns. They shoot each other with grease guns. 
Just let that sink in for a couple of seconds and you'll be like, damn, that's pretty gnarly. That's pretty rough. Let's build some more farms. We need some more food going here. And then I'll start defending the next area. So this area's got a couple of machine gun turrets on it. That looks pretty good to me. I should probably do some kind of defensible space over here too. So I'll put one down right there on the ridge. That's going to take a minute to build. I don't want them to be able to freely flow through my base. I would prefer to not let that be it. Yeah, get him. Pop that fool. Let him have it. Give him the brucka. Feed it on up. Just chuck, 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 chuck. That's what I want to hear when I see my enemies. When we ride on our enemies. All right, so we got that right there. I'm invoking the spirit of Pac right now because I really feel like he's the only one that can help us. Uh, let's find out about some of these other units. So, the Distillery Brothers. Yeah, let's have some of that. Bring on the little guys. Hell yeah, let's get them. Do they follow me around or do they hang out over here and just like fight? What do they do? Oh, you guys are getting bucked on right now. Yup, getting late. Oh, it's so bloody. Oh my god, they have suicide bombers. I don't like that at all. It appears to me as though I can sell squirrels. So do they just like come with me? I think that I should probably... Oh my god. There's no tutorial, so I'm just figuring this out as I go. We're just going to create a little death circle over here for right now while I catch my breath and figure out what the shit I'm supposed to be doing. They wiped out my grist mill though, which is upsetting. I can't say that I enjoy that a whole lot. So as I get the squirrels, do I have like a rally button that I can push? Oh, I can burrow home. Okay. That seems sweet. Sure, put down another turret. I'm sure defensively we'll totally win this fight. I'll see you at defeastin' table. What is defeastin' table? So that burrows me home. So with these little dudes over here, I'm pretty sure we can rally them. Like so. Oh, shit. Here we go, squirrel warriors. Into battle. My mighty squirrels, let us look upon the foes' faces as they lament the loss of their children. Let's, that got dark. I'm sorry. That went in a direction that I wasn't expecting. I got a little vicious right there. Sometimes I get carried away. In the true spirit of the revolution, sometimes I get a little carried away. It's because I care. It's because I care. Give me my grist mill back. You guys messing with me over here. You guys chill on this side and just, like, defend that shit. What do these bird things do? Let's find out what these birds do over here. Give me some... Give me some... Yeah, it's a real war now. Apparently the hawks and the birds are involved, so it's going to be a real war. I have no units to rally. We're missing a unit, although we did just kill one of their heroes, I think, so that's pretty sweet. How do I fix this? Can I fix this? Oh, shit, son! Suicide bombers! I'm just watching just things happen right now. Like, there's so much activity and so many things happening that it's like... So what I would like to do is let's put down a little bit of barbed wire around a lot of these spots so if they can't just like freely flow through our territory the farms have gone fallow what does that mean oh I've got to revitalize them every now and again the land is infertile oh so there's kind of like a time limit to the whole thing all right this must be infuriating for someone to watch who's like experienced with the game this must just be absolutely infuriating so what does he do he just unloads like the turrets do I mean to be fair we are absolutely annihilating their forces like if we get a chance to go out on the offensive I think we're gonna be in good shape squirrels come along I rally you all everyone join with me join with me squirrels fire shoot that guy shoot that guy in the face don't let him live anymore yep everybody follow me follow me and unload into the glorious battle we cross the ravine let us take the grist mill for all that is noble and right for the great mouse republic Onwards, my friends! Today we die together! Fire! Yeah, that's right. I'm destroying your hovel. That's what you get, you hovel-digging bastards. Uh-huh. Yep, you hovel-huddling fucks. Take that! For the proletariat! And then I will build a farm in this location to insult you with. And then I will bring my guys down over to here. They will get into a fight, and they will destroy all of your stuff. And it is what you deserve, because you guys are douchebags. And then, once we've got our reign solidified over here, we're going to put in another battle line. Here we go. The battle lines have been drawn. To the front, my friends. Let them suffer our ire and our withering gunfire. There we go. See, now we're holding it down for the click. We need more snacks. All right, well, get some pigs on it, yo. Get some pigs on it. We're going to be okay. We're going to make it through this. The pigs believe, my rotund piggy friends. Let us live together or let us die on their barbed wire. Guts spilling, our entrails falling to the soil, for it is ours. 
And we are the true believers. Squirrels, you doing alright over here with your gats? Keeping things rowdy, keeping things upright. Alright, let's see what's up with these artillery guys. I need some artillery guys. I think we can all agree that artillery is what's cracking right now. It is what's cracking hard. Oh shit, son. Are they shooting bombs at me right now? They're shooting. They're firing bombs at my mom's. Need more snacks. We'll do something. We need more We need more guns up in here. Yeah, you better unload on this cat. Here, you come back with me. Come back over here and heal because you're beautiful and you were a glorious bird and nobody can hold you down and you don't need no man. Draw all of my units to me. Let's go into the enemy's territory. Fire upon them. Destroy their homes. Bequeath nothing but lead unto their offspring. Wow, animals are violent, man. Nature is crazy. Nature is crazy. I don't know how I feel about this. They don't show this. Like, David Attenborough never talked about this. He never talked about this. Forward. Forward into fire. We will destroy one of their grist mills and we will take it from them. You guys just continue to hector them and ruin their lives. There it is. Grist mill destroyed. Burn it all down because nothing says we care about our own country and national identity like the destruction of infrastructure. That's obviously the right move. All right, so we'll throw that inside of there. There should be another enemy around too who we haven't seen unless he's already been annihilated. I don't know. So with these squirrel hives, like, they just take their time or should I be making more of these? I don't know. Here, back behind our lines. Let's make a few of these. I need more snacks. For the proletariat, or for perhaps even the novice letariat, those that have not really trained their letariat abilities to quite the level of everybody else. To the north, let us fire! Oh my god, we shoot firebombs. Burn this dude down. Take him! I am so hyped right now. This game is legit as hell. This game is so legit. <laughs> I like it so much, and I'm having so much fun. This is the best. Go, my birdie brethren. Rain fire upon them. Reduce their pigs to naught but chuck. Did we win? Are we good here? Or do I have to? All right. I'm going to rally everybody to me. Everybody get back over here. Make defensive perimeters. We're going to start stealing some grist mills because we've defeated this guy. And so taking his stuff is all I care about now. That's what I care about is we need a common unified front of the proletariat. All right. So this ridge right here looks good for fortification. I'm going to go have a nice little scout. We're going to go have a look at our enemies. All right, so we got some greenies down here. Some greedy meanies not wearing bikinis. Hopefully they don't have the power of genies all behind them. I'm going to go behind their lines and get all in between. Get them. Get that squirrel. Lay them out. Yup. I'm going to tell you to do it just how I tell my dog to do it. Get them squirrels. Destroy them. Teach them a lesson. Fight him with the flag. Fight him with the flag. Do a dance. Uh, do a dance. Yeah. Do a little dance right here. Just let them know what's up. Yep, I'm winning. Dancing all over your land, blood. Dancing all over you right now. I mean, we're, we're red, so I figure that works out right. I don't know if the various characters have different abilities. Oh my god, the foxes are snipers. That's so legit. Look at him pick these fools off. He's just sniping one by one. Look at this vicious badass. This dude is my hero right now. No, straight into their territory. Let us take everything from them. Everything. I don't think the suicide bomber frogs are very good. They did not stand up to us very well. Even the music is on point. There's something to be said about developing a theme for your game. Oh, we're missing an arm. Okay. I didn't realize our character was missing an arm, but that's pretty legit. I'm happy with the way that that went. Are you guys happy with the way our first skirmish went? Are you happy? Art thou entertained? I I feel good about this right now. I feel pretty solid about this title. Let's do another one. We're going to try... We'll try Bellified. And we'll, like, move some of these people around a little bit. Yeah, that looks good to me. Run them across. We'll make one of them hard, just in case. Just so they put up a little bit more struggle. This time around, we're going to go for... Volunteers. We're going to go for... Snakes. Yeah, let's go for some snakes. Let's go for, I still, I didn't get enough, I didn't get enough fox snipers. I didn't get enough fox snipers, I need more. We've got the matriarch, yeah, do, do that one right there. I wonder if these get more expensive as you go towards the bottom. I bet that's how it works. Uh, I would like to see some defenses. We've got drum fire cannons over here. We've got a thermal air sniper, I'll take that. We've also got tremor mines. Ooh. Make like minefields around our base, yeah, let's do that. So I'm assuming that we are fighting on behalf of the aristocracy right now. 
Uh, it looks like the volunteers are a medical group, so it looks like they bring healing to everybody else. The tooth collectors. Okay. Let's let's get our first farm all nice and developed here. We also have the Kasha farm hands, who are super sick. Like, I love that art. That's so bad. I want to be one of them right now. That's the guy, if I was playing an MMO right now, that's the character class that I would pick. Although, this bitch right here is looking kind of crazy too. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This one's up here looking like she's ready to just consume some Maz. Getting up here and causing all kinds of problems for the foe. Alright, he's already scouting us out. I should probably be doing something similar. So let's go have a look around and see what our enemy's got going on. I wonder where my enemy's grist mill is. Yeah, that's what we're playing around with at the moment. We're gonna go have a look. So there's yellow right there. We've been shot a few times, but hey, it's not the first time we've been shot. We know what's up. We're down with the revolution. We've taken, we've spilled blood. So it looks like I can just burrow home if I really want to. All the annotations are still kind of in, in console land right now, in case you were wondering. Uh, it looks like we're accumulating a little bit of cash. I kind of want to see what's up with these balloons. Oh, there she is right there. She already got us scouted. Okay, so our piggies are doing their things right now. Piggies are doing their things. I, let's get some snipers over here. Just let the snipers hang out on this side and hopefully they'll be able to defend us. We're already being attacked with spears by whatever the hell those are. Food supply is too low for me to bring in the matriarch. That seems like it's probably going to cost me in the long term. Build me some snakes, yo. Let's get some snakes up in here. They're fighting us with a lot of rodentia. And I'm thinking that the acquisition of a snake will help out with that. Get the food supply all nice and cracking and popping and bopping and whatever. There's a nice little birch tree right there. You guys want a birch tree? Birch trees are dope. What's this going to cost me? So they're sappers, it looks like. Maybe I should stop building things outside the outskirts of my village. Maybe that would be smart. How about that? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll swap my strat around a little bit here. Oh, dude, they're messing with my farm life right now. This is the part that they never, they never ever show you in Animal Crossing. These little wars that all led up to the establishment. Oh uh, yeah, cue that up. Get us recovered. Man, they're hitting us fast and they're hitting us low. They've apparently got the Zergling strategy going on. We'll get some snipers up in here. We'll put them back in a safe area so that they can spawn and get banging. Cue that up. And as soon as these pigs are back up and running, we're actually behind the eight ball right now. We might get annihilated by the foes that transgress against us in our great glorious republic. Our people's glorious republic. The people's democratic golden republic. I don't know. I just keep adding more adjectives to it because it makes it seem more awesome to me. There we go. We got them all built up. I love the little animations that get the buildings moving too. Sweet stuff. If I have enough for snakes at any point, I would like to have more snakes. Yes, give me food. I need more food to supply my army. I should sell something. No, you should you should not sell something. You should get us foxes. So these cost one supply. I don't know exactly what that means, but... It looks like there's a possibility at some point... Oh, they are just beating us with this Zerg strategy. They are clipping us over the head with this one. Yeah, sell the fox, I think. No! The civilized have chosen to feast. They've chosen to feast at the table. All right, maybe we go 1v1 if we're going to have a hard opponent. How about that? Maybe we go with you right here. And can I just, like, remove you from the running? There we go. And so we'll call this. We'll go back. It will re we'll re queue this up. We'll probably do some online gameplay soon, too. Although I'm willing to bet that they're probably pretty good at the game at this point. It's been out for a little while. They've done several betas. So we'll have Hopper, and we'll put Hopper on hard. There we go. This time around, we're going to take something cheap. We'll get our squirrelies. I don't really want the nomads in the north, although they were pretty good. Maybe we'll take those. We'll go with snipers because they're dope. We'll go with her because she's awesome. We'll also go with like the trench gang for something in the middle. We'll go with pillboxes and we'll go with we'll go with, we'll go with the stink guys. We'll go with the stink guy. Actually, maybe I should have more defenses. I'm gonna stick with we'll go with mines this time around. Let's go. You're something, something, fighting the enemies of our great people. I've got a flag. <laughs> the flag is the most important part. Our flag is two-tiered, unlike the rest of these plebs with their one-tiered flags. That's what they get. So actually, they, they only cost like 60 food. They're not that bad, and each one produced costs 20. Okay, that makes sense now. That makes sense. I got you. I understand how the game is played at the moment. 
I figured it out. Done figured it out. Alright, so we'll walk back up here. We'll get another farm cracking. I'll go back out to scout, and in just a minute, I'll run back to my hole. Where's the enemy at? Where are my foes at? Where are my foes? Where are my foes? Where are my foes at? Gonna shoot them with my gun. Death and Rose, yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it. Alright, let's burrow home. So is that on a cooldown? Do I have to stop using that at any point? Or is that just something that like I've got as an available resource? I'm gonna put in defenses foist. Defenses foist seems like a small idea, at least something to defend ourselves with. Like something like, oh I don't know, put in another farm though while we wait. And then as we get the resources, I'll drop a pillbox right there. That's right, I'm getting shit cracking right now. You're lucky. Last time you had homies, this time you ain't got no friends. You got no lovers. You got nobody that cares about you. I'll put another turret right here as soon as that's ready. Just let this thing tick upwards for a little bit. I want everything to be well defended because, yeah, I had a distinct feeling they were going to try and squirrel out on me real fast. Had a feeling they were going to come at me with the squirrel life. Alright, so turrets are down. And maybe I'll drop another one right here. Maybe just, like, line the hills with them. Where's the next grist mill over? Next grist mill is pretty far. Far enough that I don't feel confident about it, and that position is not amazingly defensible. Although we could expand to the right and probably be sort of safe. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably move to the right. Oh, we killed their leader. As far as I can tell, there's really no penalty for your leader dying. Maybe that'll become apparent later. Oh, you little shit-stained bastards. Alright, so let's get a... Yeah, let's get some let's get some nomads in the north down here just to help out a little bit. We'll requeue that farm. And now that we're good to go, I'm actually gonna mine the shit out of this area. So that if they want to come through and approach me that way again, they're gonna have to find out the hard way. They're gonna have to find out the real hard way. Alright, we need to go capture something like right this second. So I'm gonna go find another grist mill. This one looks manageable, so. I'll probably take this one. I don't like the defensibility of it, but it's better than nothing, so I'll take it. Uh, we are producing nomads down here. It might be worth sending a couple of them in just to kind of scrap with the enemy and mess with them. I'm not going to rally for right now, though. Instead, what I'm going to focus on is let's get some farms up and popping on this side so this grill's, this mill's all ready to go. And we got ourselves a nice supply of piggies to go around. Now, this is going to be assailable from this side, so ideally what I'd want to do is make a choke point, like, over here somewhere, so that they can't even get to it, or so that they have to go the long way around, and it's at least super inconvenient. Oh, look at you dumb sons of bitches stepping on my... Are those pigeons with dynamite? Holy balls. This really kind of takes me back to the old days of, like, Command and Conquer and whatnot, when it was all, like, pixel-based and whatever. Let's get some farms moving here. Yeah, I've got a feeling this is probably going to turn out for no good, so I'm going to call all of my spearmen over here to protect these farms. There you go. That's what I believe in. Very nice. Uh, spearmen, are you guys okay over here? I'll probably get this ridge line established with some defenses. Pull them over to here. There you go. Defend us. Here, you guys stand right here and just defend this location for right now. We've got two more pillboxes up. I'd like to see a few more in advantageous positions. Yeah, something like that'll work. We'll just drop a whole bunch right there, and they'll just have to come around it. Meanwhile, we'll get a couple of farms dropped in right now. My StarCraft sense is itching. Like, that, you know when you want to be more efficient, you want to be, like, better at the game, and you want to do, like, better? I'm starting to get that feeling right now. Starting to get that feeling. How dare you just run up inside my territory thinking, like, you the shit. Oh, nope. He was the shit. He got us knocked out quick. All right, let's get some of these little clever guys in here. You can find me with the club, shooting lots of enemies with my dub. Oh, no. Lost a turret on this side. I think I should probably do better with the whole turret life. There we go. This box over here is a little messed up, but it should recover, hopefully. Uh, these turrets up on this side have already been hit by something. Call that right there. Okay, with our food supply, things are ticking upwards. Our fields have gone fallow, so we'll probably want to start looking around for other locations to replace that. I'm going to take this grist mill right here. And I'm going to let the food pile up for a little bit until we got what we need. In the meantime... I'm just going to be a dick with these mines. Just really mess with the enemy and spread them around a little bit so that when they have accidents and step on things, they wind up dead. 
It's a vicious way to fight, but you know what? Sometimes victory for the people requires the intelligent deployment of... Oh my god, that snake is spitting venom at me. What an asshole. What a complete and utter douchebag. Wow, they're coming in hard. I thought they were playing. Yeah, bring this shit up. Bring this shit up. Fight. Fight with everything you have. Otherwise, we won't be here for much longer. There we go. Now we got my siege units coming through. All right. Give me something that I can do right here. And then we need to put pressure on them like yesterday. And so what I'll do... We'll drop a little bit right there. And now that their rush is over, we're going to come at them. Clevers, get after them. Go get them. That's what I like to see, Clevers. Put some more pressure on them. Fight with them. The other thing that I'd like to see is a couple more of these just deployed intelligently in the back. And then I need some more farms. Not too much because I don't want to overextend myself. We still have turrets available though, right? My turrets have not like died or fallen apart or anything like that. Farms are going fallow. Man, we got issues right now. And I wouldn't be necessarily super opposed... Now, hopefully those farms bounce back. We've also been hit pretty hard along this side. I need somebody over here to help. Rally to this point. Everybody over. No! My farm! It was such a beautiful farm! How could you? The gables, so beautifully created. So masterfully wielded. So can I get this back now? Our food supply is too low. Okay. That's probably because I'm eating up all my food right now. My army's too large. Yeah. So let me see. So saying that... There we go. Control key is what I was looking for. Rush the enemy. Rush them. Take the forward. Go! I've got to have some kind of counterattack here. Like, I haven't put any hands on these dudes yet. And so we got to get in here. We got to make this happen. Yep, everybody in. Deal what damage you can. Mess with their supply lines. Make everything worse for them. And then I'm going to burrow home. Sorry, guys. Oh, I can't burrow while I'm being shot. Okay. I learned a new thing today. I learned a new thing. The loss of our men is unfortunate. But we will remember them. We will remember them in the afterlife. Alright, so we need more food. With all my fields falling apart, they've pretty much slit my throat in a way that's difficult to overcome. Sooner or later, I feel like we're probably going to tap out this map, and it's just going to come down to one big slugfest at the end. So the fields have gone fallow, and there's no way to fix that. So basically, the game forces conflict at some point. Oh, they got the gunner birds, too. They got gunner birds, too. Cool. All right, all units with me. All units, forward. Forward into the breach, my friends. Cut off their lifeline right here. Cut it off. There you go. They're trying to build farms over here, and I'm not going to allow that. Everybody to this spot, including Clevers. Get in here and destroy this shit. Come in quick. Very nice. That's what we call retaliation out here. That's what we call retaliation out here. All right, so bring it forward. I'm going to claim this mill, and hopefully we can hold it before too long. I would like you guys to be right here. Destroy that. Hopefully this land doesn't stay fallow, but we're going in for a big push right now. Have they just run out of resources? Holy shit, I won! I felt like I was losing that entire match. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Tooth and Tail. I hope you guys liked it. Leave me lots of comments down below. Let me know if it's something you want to see more of. I can also set up some collabs. I can do some online play if you want. I'm not very good, but hopefully, you know, I'll pick up the main points as I go along. I definitely plan on playing this a little bit more in my free time. See you all next time. Bye, everybody.